All right, what's up, y'all? November 1st. Welcome back to Reaper Fishing, New Jersey. Super pumped, baby. So it is a Tuesday now. Um, I got up at like 5. I looked out back. It was howling last night. It was howling this morning. It was rainy, overcast. I went back to bed. It's now around uh, almost noon, and uh, the wind went west. So what I'm actually going to do, there was a little bite up the beach, you know, almost 40 miles um, yesterday. So I'm going to sprint up there, hopefully make you know 30 knots plus, be there in you know, a little over an hour. Uh, but these stripers, I mean, you know, they can just shut off and turn on just like that. So who the heck knows, but it's beautiful out now. Let's get up there. I'm actually sweating right now. It's tough, you know, being in Brigantine. Um, you know, last year I moved the boat up to uh, to Barnegat Light, and that was awesome. Uh, it just wasn't in the budget this year. Um, so when we're down here, we almost just, like, we just sit by and wait for them to, you know, make their way down. But uh, every now and then I like to just sprint up there and see if I can find them. So let's see. This is my uh, first striper outing for fall 2022 see all out there the goal is going to be snag and drop hopefully snag and drop bunker um if not you know i got stuff to troll with me so we'll see what style we got in play here i'll see y'all out there Super fun, baby. all right guys a huge pot of bunker i'm uh, up off seaside now so i'm gonna try and see if i can uh, snag and drop here so i'm just gonna put you on the head mount for now and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, no luck on that last school. I uh, ran a little bit further north. Um, pretty sure the one boat they were kind of shooting and hollering, he saw Reaper. That was cool. Thanks, man. Um, so I think he just got one. I see some whales up ahead. So it's looking a lot better here. So uh, let's see what we can do here. Come here. A little better size huh? so what you can see here team what i'm doing is i'm actually hooking these live bunker really just in the nose there's two holes near kind of their nostril um, and i put the hook right through there they stay nice and lively and then what you'll see me do here is i actually make a cut or two at the tail and then i cut one or two of the peck fins so they um you know swim around quite injured and they stand out uh pretty significantly from the rest of the school um, now this school was holding down pretty deep so you'll see me here I reach for a weight and I put this one down on the bottom you can really see them swimming around real good right there guys uh, but yeah you just have to be cautious sometimes if the dogfish are thick and you drop to the bottom that's all you're gonna get it's very frustrating oh boy something on there Just got bit too, huh? Big old striper, look at you. Wowzers. Good God. Monster. Wowzers. Look how pretty you are. Good God. Jesus, nailed it right on the bottom. Guys, that is absolutely huge. Holy shnikes. I didn't think it was a shark just because it's one of my chunking rods. I couldn't even get it. All right. I'm trying to see if I can't. Oh, I'm getting bit over there too. Oh boy. Double, huh? Got her. Okay. Got her in the net. Oh, good God. Jesus, that thing is absolute beast, guys. Holy cow. That thing is a monster. Get her back in the water really quick. Holy cow. That is an absolute beast. Support her belly. Support her belly. Let's get her back in the water. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. All right, come on, girl. You're going to get out of here just fine, huh? Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Get out of here. Go. She kicked off just fine. Okay. All right, y'all up off uh, Seaside Park now. Yeah, Seaside Park now. Uh, you can see there's tons of bunker everywhere. So those little flips, a lot of bait here. It's in closer, uh, but I'm not really seeing them get harassed. I don't know, we're gonna do one or two drifts through here and then we'll see. 
you know, I love the new rule with the snag and drop. Um, in the old days, what you would do is you would just run that weighted treble hook through the school, snag a bunker, and really just let them swim there. Uh, it was very effective because, as you can see there, they would come in bloody, and they would clearly swim very much so altered and different from the school. Uh, but you were gut hooking a lot of those big stripers and harming them with those three treble hooks. Uh, so now what we do is we re-rig it right as you can see there on the on a nice big circle hook uh, and again you can see there me cutting this guy and I mean you can just see bloody wounded once I get that tail cut I mean he's still gonna stand out uh, but I love the new regulations honestly uh, super excited about it you're not gonna uh, end up landing as many fish but you're not gonna harm as many as well here you can see I'm just going ahead and, and put it a couple extra in the live well so uh, once I get on a productive school I can go ahead and drop a couple right away. Literally no one around. So I know it looks crazy with all this bait around, but they're just kind of lollygagging, uh, which really isn't what you want to see. You want to see them every now and then really get harassed. Like, Whoa. Is that how it sounds? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Big old swirls. All right, y'all. Another thing really important. You'll see off my port there. I'm several hundred yards away oh, from yeah. the bunker oh, yeah. school. You can see a big splash there in the distance, but at any rate, I'm going very, very slow, just above idle. I'm well outside the school, and what I'll do is I'll get up current or upwind of that school and then drift into them. The only way you can ruin this, if there's fish on this, is to go right through the school, start zipping around, you'll put them down, and you won't be a friend to very many people on that fleet, especially me. Oh, yeah, big boil right there. Big old boil. Big old boil. This pod has fish, guys. This pod definitely has fish. Yep. This pod has fish. Come on, baby. Let's go. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. Let's go. That's it. Yeah, that's it, baby. Woo-hoo! Yee-hee-hee! Yes! Yes! There we go. Woo-hoo-hoo! Ah-ha-ha! Ah! Ew. That's good. You're good. Yeah, all right. Knew he wanted it, you know. Whoa, look at him go. Guys, this is a pretty heavy combo. This is one of my two to jig combos here. I want to not tire these fish out too much, so I got them on pretty stout gear. I knew this. Oh, he popped off. Pulled the hook right there. Uh, Snikes. What was that? I think it's about to happen here, kids. Oh, yeah. We, oh, it's got nailed. Man, are they there? School's pretty good. Took me. All right, guys, not capitalizing on my opportunities. I'm one for two on hooked fish. Uh, I just had a smoke and bite. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just focus on just one rod here. So let's go. Oof. They're here, boys and girls. They are here. Just gotta start capitalizing on our bites. That's all. Oh God, I can see him. Two for one. Good, those are better size. Okay, good. Look at him, oh my God. What are you doing, Chris? Guys, I suck at this. I'm like one for God knows how many. Ugh. All right, y'all, so what you can see here, you can see the bunker school to the west of me. Uh, the drifter was west to east, so again, I would get you know, I'd move the up to the north of them, circle back around to the south, start west of the bunker pods, deploy my baits, and uh, drift right through them. I was getting bit pretty much right as I would drift right into the western aspect of the school or the eastern aspect, not right in the middle. Oh, 
cold hook again. I can't believe it. Guys, I'm like one for God knows how many. I stunk it this last fall. I stunk it this fall. I think the rod, that's why I'm pulling these hooks, but hey, I'm having fun. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so cool. Huh? Well, I guess there's something still on him, huh? Come on, baby, let's get bit here. Man, team, forget about catching fish. Look at that beautiful sight. Sun's starting to set. Bunker everywhere. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Unreal. Oh, come on! Come on! What more do I have to do? I don't understand. What more do I have to do? Oh, guys, I have continued to suck. I've had uh, probably 10 to 12 good bites. Probably five fish hooked up, six fish hooked up. I already boated one. This is uh, embarrassing. Well, guys, I, I videoed every pulled hook possible, but of course my personal best probably, well, probably not my personal best, but the biggest one of the day, didn't record. It's GoPros. Basically just pulled every fucking hook imaginable. This is unbelievable. Hey man, we could have had it. Hey, we could have had it, man. I'm a fire when I am goddamn good and ready. You got that? Oh Jesus! Yes. Now it's just stupid. I think I bit right away. Jesus Lord. Woo! Come on, baby. see you. Let me see you. Let's see you. Come on, let's see you. Jeez, big fish. These are monsters. Come on, baby. Let me see you. Jesus, God, they're just monsters. Good God almighty, you guys are big. Come on. Yeah, they're just 
this giants. Mm. Oh, Fort momentum. Fort momentum. <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. All right. Whew. Oh my goodness. Yeah, barely hooked. Absolute giants these fish are. Holy cow. These fish are absolute giants. Look. Hook fell right out. Oh my good God. Look at the size of that guy. How about that, y'all? We went one for we went one for God knows how many in uh all that time and then just like that we went uh we just went two for two. So now we're three for God knows how many. These are giant fish. Well over 40 pounds. Uh, the last two drifts, I mean I literally just got the bait down, engaged the reel, they were there. So maybe we'll do that one more time. I didn't capture most of it on the GoPro, of course, but hey, it's the name of the game, right? See if we can't get one more, baby. Come on. It's just so fun. Finally got the drag right on that on that rod, so we'll see. I'll run home in the dark, baby. Love it. Adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline. I just love it. Untangle your line. And, uh, get them out there, huh? So we can't get one more, huh? Oh God, yeah. Look at that, he got bit right away. Right up top. That was, I'm pretty sure that was my guy. He's on. He's on, oh my God, it's just, oh, he dropped him. Oh, I dropped, oh my God, he hit it right there. <laughs> he hit it right there. <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, will you stay tight or not? I don't know. Oh, that was so cool. He came back and ate it right there. Oh, that was so neat. Oh, yes. Ah. Whether or not that was a different one, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That was so fun. Ah. Oh, that was cool. He came right up and ate it right there, guys. So I got this drag a little better. We're actually staying hooked. Keep fishing a little longer. We got a little bit more daylight. It's just dropping real. Whoa. Bunker. Live bunker is the best I ever. Oh, wow. Look at guys. No. Look how big you are. You're all sorts of healthy. Come on. Come on, baby. You're all sorts of healthy. Come on, get this net. This net. I won't let you go and get another one. Yes. Look at that. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Unbelievable. I was just about to give up, citing horrible angle error. And look at what's happening now. Unbelievable. All these fish are gonna be absolutely fine. That's not the biggest one. That one's not huge. Oh yeah. All right guys, the smallest one of the day. Support her belly. Let's get her back. Yeah. Unreal. Unreal. Ate it right at the boot. You're just fine. Get out of here. Well guys, perseverance man. Perseverance. I still almost gave up. Because of this YouTube channel, I kept going, you know? I wanted to get you guys some cool footage, man. I knew the fishing was good. I knew the fish were here. I just flailing, you know? Just flailing, but we got a groove now. So maybe one more drift and we'll get out of here. It's so fun. Oh my All right, y'all. Yeah, just like that. They turned on, they turned off. I uh, had my opportunities. I blew it for the most part. Uh, but yeah, we boated five beautiful stripers. Uh, I was all by myself. I watched the sun go down. I sprinted home in a dead flat ocean back to Brigantine at 35 knots or so. Uh, no complaints. So just awesome early November striped bass fishing. y'all what a fun trip thanks for joining me hopefully the footage comes out uh, as always i made a total mess i mean there's just blood everywhere bunker fins everywhere i mean what a mess it's one 
uh, cormorant. This one cormorant's been making a mess of my boat. Good Lord, look at this. So I just stuff everywhere. So tomorrow's cleanup day. So that was fun. I love these spreader lights. You get back, it lights everything up so you can see. So get the engines flushed, rinse off all the rods. Go watch some World Series. Super pump, baby.